On behalf of Working Group 1, the physical science spaces of the IPCC, it's an honor and pleasure to address you via this video message to provide you with a first-hand information on the contribution of IPCC Working Group 1 to the special report on managing the risks of extreme events and disasters to advance climate change adaptation. The decision of the IPCC panel to commission this special report posed three challenges to Working Group 1. First, the science of extreme climate events is only emerging and the understanding is rapidly evolving. Second, extreme climate events occur in all regions of the world and many complex physical processes determine their intensity, frequency and their extent. Third, the physical science aspect of extreme climate events is only one of many which are relevant for the public and the policymakers. These challenges were met by a highly motivated, excellent lead author team of Working Group 1, which worked constructively and effectively with the Working Group 2 science community over the past two and a half years. The title of this report managing the risks of extreme events and disasters to advance climate change adaptation does not spontaneously suggest that Working Group 1 would be able to make a useful contribution to this special report. However, this conclusion would be completely wrong. The physical science basis is indispensable for providing the robust data, reliable information which is required for long-term planning and adaptation. For example, we need to know how much the frequency of heat waves will increase for a particular future warning. We need to know where and when and with what intensity heavy precipitation events will occur. We need to know changes in tropical cyclone activity in order to prepare and protect the most vulnerable communities. Let me make one point clear at the beginning. All the statements of the physical science basis presented in the IPCC's fourth assessment report in 2007 still stand. In particular, warming in the climate system is unequivocal. Most of the observed increase in global average temperature since the mid-20th century is very likely due to the observed increase in anthropogenic greenhouse gas concentrations. And continued greenhouse gas emissions at or above current rates would cause further warming and induce many changes in the global climate system during the 21st century that would very likely be larger than those observed during the 20th century. We now turn to the specific findings regarding extreme climate events that are presented in chapter three, changes in climate extremes and their impacts on the natural physical environments of this special report. The study object of this report is much more complex than changes in mean climate quantities because we here focus almost exclusively on changes in extreme climate events. Let me make an analogy. Assume we have four dice and we throw them simultaneously a million times. We're not interested in the mean number shown in any one cast but we are exclusively focusing on only those events that show four identical faces of these dice. As you can imagine, these are very rare events and to determine any irregularity in the integrity of these four dice is extremely challenging. This has been the task of the scientists who contributed to this special report. Their general conclusions are, first, a change in climate leads to changes in the frequency, intensity, spatial extent, duration and timing of extreme events and can result in unprecedented extreme weather and climate events. Second, 
There is evidence from observations gathered since 1950 of changes in some extremes. Confidence in observed changes in extremes depends on the quality and quantity of data and the availability of studies analyzing these data, which vary across regions for different extremes. Assigning, for example, low confidence in observed changes of an extreme on a regional or global scale neither implies nor excludes the possibility of changes in these extremes. Third, there is evidence that some extremes have changed as a result of anthropogenic influences, including increases in atmospheric concentration of greenhouse gases. And fourth, models project substantial warming in temperature extremes by the end of the 21st century. Nine climate extreme phenomena have been assessed in this special report. Extreme warm and cold days, hottest days, heat waves, heavy precipitation, tropical cyclone activity, extratropical storms, droughts, extreme coastal high waters, and patterns of natural climate variability such as monsoons and ENSO. For each climate extreme, the scientists have assessed their observational evidence for change, the attribution to anthropogenic climate change, and the projection of changes in the 21st century. I now would like to summarize for you the most important findings. It is very likely that the number of extreme warm days and nights has increased worldwide since 1950. And this is likely due to the increase of greenhouse gas concentrations. In the future, for the higher emission scenario, what is today a 1 in 20 year hottest day will become a 1 in 2 year event. This means that the frequency of these extreme events will increase by a factor of about 4 in the next 30 to 40 years and by as much as a factor of 10 by the end of the 21st century. In consequence, heat waves are projected to very likely last longer, to occur more frequently, and to increase in intensity. Heavy precipitation has increased on a global scale, and with medium confidence, this is already attributed to anthropogenic climate change. It is likely that a 1 in 20 year event of heavy precipitation will become a 1 in 5 to a 1 in 15 year event by the end of the 21st century. Tropical cyclone activity is in the focus of many countries because their impact can be devastating. While there is low confidence of observed long-term trends over the past four decades, it is likely that maximum wind speed will increase in the 21st century in response to the warming. And finally, more intense and longer droughts have been observed in some regions, and there is medium confidence that they will intensify in the 21st century particularly in southern Europe, in the Mediterranean, in central North America and Mexico, in northeastern Brazil, and in southern Africa. These are just a few of the major findings contributed by Working Group 1, the physical science basis of the IPCC, to this special report. As a final piece of information, I should mention that this report provides, for the first time, relevant information on the projection of extreme events in 26 regions worldwide for the two examples of extreme warm days and heavy precipitation. These results are readily available in accessible figures and provided to you in the summary for policymakers of this special report 
managing the risks of extreme events and disasters to advance climate change adaptation. Thank you very much for your attention.